It was the morning of June 1st, 2024, Rob Jagger's birthday. Lachlan had fallen asleep in a cold sweat the night before. The, oh, I, you know, I, I totally missed something. <laughs> As brother of the bride and member of the Jagger family, it is a tradition to present a speech. These speeches are typically very accurate, using a detailed account of things that have happened throughout the lives of the newlyweds. All right, we'll skip the man's up part. <laughs> It was the morning of June 1st, 2024, Rob Jagger's birthday. Lachlan had fallen asleep in a cold sweat the night before. The three shots of Woodford bourbon had not taken the icy chills from his body and mind. <laughs> Tomorrow was a big day, the last time he would see the Jagger family before the wedding day. These people were not easy to befriend. <laughs> The men only ever talked about larger-than-life fish and ever-vanishing white-tailed deer. Somehow, falling out of trees and tearing knees was the man thing to do. The closest Locke could do was shooting blue jays and robins with his Nikon D7500 camera with an ultimate 1,300-millimeter lens. <laughs> on peaceful walks through the Royal Botanical Gardens. He tried to warm his mind with thoughts of his beautiful bride-to-be. She seemed so much lovelier and composed than the rest of the family. She enjoyed the bird-watching hikes, listening to sacred spaces in their dark green whiskey room, and creating exquisite meals. When she was around, his days were bright blue and cloud-free. He did not regret the moment he asked her to spend the rest of their lives together. It was with these thoughts, Locke had fallen asleep. He awoke with a start. His dreams had been sweet, but those sweet dreams cut off by the image of his future father-in-law saying, Man up! Locke swung his long legs over the edge of his bed and mumbled under his breath, Happy birthday, Rob. <laughs> he stumbled in his private bathroom in his father's basement. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> The cheap living had been a bonus in his life. Better yet, he had now found a hard-working and assiduous beauty who had already owned a home. He could soon just move in with her. He Locke, got that from his brother. <laughs> Fall in your lead. That's right, right in. Morrison Playbook. Yeah. <laughs> Locke flipped through his closet of clothes, choosing the purple shorts with a flowery top. <laughs> that would impress the Jaggers. Unfortunately, he could not borrow his dad's Corvette and would have to drive with Acura. <laughs> After donning on his Baroque clothing, Locke peered into the mirror. His head touched the ceiling kinking his neck into a peculiar shape. And the mirror was for the average five foot nine human. But Locke could see his outfit. Today. Today was going to be a good day. He pondered. Could he ever man up like just his husband Mike? Mike had found an appetite that would impress a large cow. And he would still take all the leftovers home. Somehow he had also suckered his way into a position at Jagger Construction. Locke often found Mike wandering about muttering, Man up, Mikey. Man up. <laughs> it seemed Mike had done well marrying into the Jagger family. 
Locke and Steph had chosen to drive Steph's sharp-looking vehicle. Steph had allowed Locke to drive so she could proceed to stare into his eyes the whole way there. <laughs> they were truly in love. They arrived at the Jagger home. Locke had to proceed to the shop where the men were. They had just chosen to play cornhole in the backyard. Locke knew his cornhole game was subpar. <laughs> but today was the day. He would have to show these gents up. After struggling to put the corn bag on the board and receiving many pointers from Steph's old man, <laughs> Locke and Rob managed to string a win or two together. The game ended and the men shook hands. <laughs> All fun aside, Steph and Locke, we truly hope that all things go well. You have a great, you've had a great day so far. We pray that God will care for the both of you and lead you on the path He has set out. And I'll hand over the mic to the Morrisons. <laughs>